charges. He appeared before the Randberg Magistrates Court earlier today. A third suspect has now been arrested in the assault case of the former Deputy Minister of Higher Education. Uh, police say the 35-year-old was pointed out by one of the victims at court. Manana made a brief appearance in court number six before the case was transferred to another court for the guilty plea. Outside of court, supporters of Manana are carrying placards commending him for admitting he was wrong. The DA is also protesting outside of court. Manana resigned as Deputy Minister of Higher Education and Training following intense pressure from rights groups and also from within his own party. Video footage of this incident in which one of the women was allegedly being assaulted went viral on social media. Manana is currently out on 5,000 rand bail. As I had uh, initially indicated that um, I aid, I took responsibility, I apologized to the nation and um, together with my legal team we came to a conclusion uh, to plead guilty and then deal with whatever consequences thereafter. Moving forward, are you hoping for a, a lenient sentence, I guess, and that have you apologized personally, first of all, uh, to the victims uh, in this instance? In my first statement, I did extend my apology to the family, to the victims. Uh, I intend apologizing once the sentence has been delivered, but truly, I want justice to be served. Uh, it mustn't uh, Obviously, it doesn't have to favor me, but justice must be served. Are you hoping that the court will show leniency towards you, given that you've apologized and uh, that you were wrong? The court will use its own wisdom to come to a determination.